Joanna Smith Rakoff, and my novel is called A Fortunate Age. It's a comedy of manners of sorts about a group of young people who moved to the city in the late 1990s during the tech boom, and it carries through uh, 2004 as they struggle to sort of live bohemian lives but end up living rather bourgeois lives. I was a book critic for years, I think because I was a young woman. I was often assigned books by other young women. Some of them fell into what is now called chiclet, um, and some were, were just straight literary novels. Over those years, I started to feel a kind of frustration with um, what I can't help but call women's fiction or women's literature. The books that I was reading just seemed so small in scope and so limited in their ambitions. And some of them were brilliant. Um, the quality of the writing was wonderful, the worldview was fascinating, the characters and story development was great, but they were all very small um, or sort of domestic in scope. And at the same time I was reading novels like um, Jonathan Franzen's The Corrections, which I wrote about when it came out. Um, and also um, large Victorian novels, which I always read. And I, I just started to wonder, what, what is happening here? Why are young women, especially young women coming out of MFA programs, as did I, writing these kind of small novels? And why is no one writing honestly about the experiences that I'm going through? This New York that I'm reading about is not the New York that I know, where people are constantly struggling and, and kind of crushed and where their financial concerns slowly overtake their intellectual or artistic ambitions. People of all ages have, have kind of been, um, to me, thrillingly um, interested in it and related really strongly to the characters. There seems to be a universality to this experience of moving to the city and trying to find your way. and people in their 40s, 50s, 60s, and older um, have said, oh my god, this was just what it was like for me, except for me it wasn't Williamsburg and Cobble Hill, for me it was the Upper West Side, or for me it was the West Village, or for me it was the East Village in 1980. I've wondered if the appeal is in part the nostalgia of reading about this period in one's life when everything is possible.